Alright everyone, it is me, Judson Chan. Ugh, still feeling a little groggy. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with the... Uh, I'm not quite I'm not sure what's wrong with the fucking 2x2 two two page here. Strangely enough, the other pages are correct are working. Alright, there we go. Hopefully it'll load properly. Anyway, another night. Another five, six hours. I think maybe it was more closer to the six hour mark. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. My body feels mostly, like, fine. Just a little off. That's it. Uh, I did not take any uh, naps yesterday. You know, I did get my Burger King, but, you know, I spaced out the food so that I didn't, you know, I didn't fall asleep. And I felt just fine. You know, I kept my calories under the, you know, what, 1800, 1700 limit. I usually try to go for 1650. And I was also lifting weights yesterday, and I walked quite a bit. So, um, I don't know. I think eventually a buy will uh, adjust. So, or maybe maybe I actually don't need that much more sleep, you know. Uh, I guess we'll see. Anyway, I didn't really do too much research um, except on Yahoo Finance. Oh, that's why I had that extra uh, window open. So I actually need to bring this back up. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet day, which is fine by me. Short video means I can get back to you know playing my video games. Oh, it also means uh, fire up Unity Hub. You know, and yeah, I had a pretty productive gaming yesterday. Uh, I'm uh, working on the game. I actually added three levels. So you know, once I finish adding the levels, let's see, what does my scratch work say? <clears throat> okay, so I have to add levels, then create a level select. So that should be pretty easy. And then add some flavor text to the perks, so that should be easy. The thing that I'm a little worried about is the save function, but, you know, uh, once I get that down pat, my game's ready to release. So, I guess I start thinking about commission, um, because I don't want to do, like, the full artwork, uh, artwork just yet. That's just going to be expensive. Like a conception artist is going to charge like 120 bucks, which is actually pretty cheap. Uh, but that's still a lot of money, right? You know, uh, not exactly uh, a wash with cash just yet. You know, like uh, we're, I'm, I'm in the process of uh, working on the JMC coin swap. Mitch basically says we're still good for basically July. Right? He's just got the finishing touches on uh, Rick's. Um, and he's actually going to list, uh, well, he's still working on it, so I'll, I'll, I'll wait on that before I can start talking about it. But overall, everything's, uh, you know, everything's getting back to normal. The only thing that's not getting back to normal really is Trump's uh, re-election chances, but uh, we'll take a look. Uh, we'll go up one at a time. All right, so nothing new for this week for Bitcoin searches, so Google probably released data either tonight or tomorrow. <clears throat> Bitcoin dominance, 64.7%, uh, 24 value, 56.3 billion. Bitcoin, 91.30, so nothing new. Litecoin, 41.29, ugh. Doggy coin, uh, 289.2 million market cap. So pretty much crypto is completely flat, just like it was four years ago. Uh, so that's going to suck. That basically means uh, we're not going to see any real... This price will probably remain the same until the end of this year. Right? It's, at least it won't move, probably until we find out who's going to win the election. So we got a long way to go. Uh, uh, I already took a look at <clears throat> front page of Yahoo. Literally nothing new. So apparently uh, yesterday was a pretty big update. So yeah. Uh, so here's Eben, Evan... Remel, yeah, so uh, nothing good. All right, JMC, 7 to 8, blah, 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 404, 381 of almost 400, 419, basically. I mean, there's so little supply that 404 is going to be doing well for a while. 2x2 two two continues to slow, uh, settle a little down in lower price because obviously the inflation is finally kicking in, 67, 68. Rix is going to be uh, pretty stable at the low 200s for at least probably another month or so. So 211 and 216. Nothing new here. <clears throat> First mover, Bitcoin call. No. As always, we don't read too much uh, Bitcoin price predictions because that's bullshit. Most of the time, uh, Bitcoin wrapped up. Nope. Uh, institutional Bitcoin traders think that the top is in factors. Oh, yeah. 
Bitcoin not dead. Get your you know, uh, first mover. Gold versus Bitcoin. PayPal deal. Okay, so Bitcoin miner hut eight closes better than expected. Equity. So there's actually a lot of uh, Bitcoin stocks going public. So this is going to be pretty nice. Um, actually, I do want to read this because I just want to know about the company. <clears throat> Specifically, Bitcoin oriented or cryptocurrency oriented companies are specifically listing on public exchanges because uh, not because because what do we actually need? We need a broad swath of like an entire industry, right? If like, let's say you want to invest in like uh, the oil industry, right? So you got your refineries, you got the oil drillers and I guess the transport ships that like, you know, haul all the, you know, oil and shit. Yeah, they play Elite Dangerous so you can totally like haul shit too. Um, now if there's only one company doing it, yeah, it's going to be a little problematic because it's like basically you only have one company to buy and sell against to get into the, to have exposure to the oil market. In our case, we want to have exposure to the Bitcoin market, right? Because what do we want to do? When we set, when I sell, I tell you to sell, and I tell you that I'm selling and dumping all my crypto, right? In, in a couple of years, hopefully, maybe ideally three years from now, right? Because I'm thinking the top is about to collapse. Then once, so because of that, I want to short the market, right? So that's why we need multiple companies uh, to do that with, because it just makes, we have more options to choose from and it's more stable and we actually get a more accurate picture of like what's the actual value of the industry, right? When you have one company in the industry, it's like, uh, but when you have like, you know, 50, 100 companies all doing the same shit, competing against each other, figuring out like the best ways to make money off of doing whatever the hell they're doing then you have a then you probably will know that yeah the free market the actual true free market not the ben shapiro f word type of free market then you'll actually know oh okay yeah you know it's uh you know it, it it's probably worth what it really is worth you know and that's what we want we want the truth we want the true price of something and the only way you can get that for sure that I know of is through is through trial by fire. So competition, add lots of companies, throw them in, in the arena, right? In the arena of business, and then just let them fight it out. Analysts who call accurate call Bitcoin, so, uh, whatever. I don't know. I am kind of like, I do kind of like that. Um, I kind of like this picture too. Uh, we'll use that as a thumbnail. I know we said we shouldn't uh, call the thing, but I mean, everyone's always, there's a, there's like a million fucking assholes doing price predictions, including me. Like, what, most of the time we're going to be wrong, but only one of them is going to be right. Like, one of them will be right just because, you know, a broken clock is, you know, right twice a day. Uh, no. Hmm, that's a pretty nice thumbnail, too. Yeah, at least they still know how to do thumbnails. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Uh, this is old shit. Yeah, there's literally no. Yeah, there's actually no news. That's actually good. There's no news. Uh, Trump is down twenty two percent. So, all right, not too bad. We're tracking down the two assholes who threw paint on the George Washington in Manhattan. I assume this is uh, New York City, Manhattan. Because apparently there are other places in America that's also called Manhattan. But of course, me living here in New York City, we always just called Manhattan just New York City. So that's why it's called New York, New York. Uh, sure. Uh, so they're hunting him down, so that's good. Uh, James K. Coomer. Uh, 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 Russian store. Okay, wait. U.S. raid. Raid is cars. Bought cash. Uh, how much? And uh, cover. It's all. Uh, there's a lady care for cash. We lost out there. I did it. We're just told or not. Okay. Um. Let's see. White House. Below. Okay. You got a really can of mob rule. Cats. Okay. So uh, this actually is pretty important. 
weekend in the Democrat-run New York City, and 61 people were shot in Democrat-run Chicago, and 15 fatally killed a Democrat state, a Democrat city. President Trump stands against defunding our brave police officers, caving to mob rule, and cancel culture which seeks to erase our history. Let's be clear. The rampant destruction of statues is not a part of any ideology, but this anarchy is aided by failed Democrat leadership. Yeah, this is actually this is actually really solid. Just wish this had more uh, views. And as President Trump has tweeted, these statues, quote, are great works of art, but all actually. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I don't feel like posting this on Parler. Our problem is Parler doesn't respond well to just putting a tweet there, so oh, a Twitter there. But it does work pretty well if I link out to another website. All represent our history and heritage, both the good and the bad. It is important for us to understand and remember, even in turbulent and difficult times, and to learn from them. So let's stand for law and order, for peace in our streets, and against anarchy. This is President Trump's vision for the future. And with that, I'll take questions. Chris. Thank you, Kaylee. Um, I know you said that President Trump was never briefed on these reports uh, about the Russian bounties and whatnot, but, but can you say that... Okay. I'm actually just managing my uh, Haiti star while that was running. All right, uh, blah 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 blah. Be fire, please. Blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, that was good. Hmm. All right, very good. Okay, just eat. Uh, all right, so not much here. Oh yeah, this Russia bounty thing. I mean, anything's possible, of course, but I think this is actually somewhat retarded because a, what does Russia gain? Russia doesn't even care about Afghanistan. In fact, Putin himself has said we treat Afghanistan the way Americans treat Vietnam. We just don't want to fucking go there, right? So, and on top of that, why would Russia pay the very same people that were killing all sorts of Russians, like? when the 1980s so it's like oh my god 35 plus years ago 33 plus years ago oh my god i'm a fucking dinosaur i have to have to say three th th three decades all right i'm a fucking old man now so yeah so does that make any sense to you the problem is we're obviously destroying statues and shit and burning down our history so people probably don't even know that uh russia like uh invaded afghanistan in the first place <coughs> and in fact, uh, we worked with Osama bin Laden himself and Al Qaeda to fight the Russians. So it's like, I mean, now all of a sudden Putin and the Russian Russians are going to like fucking work with the Af the Al Qaeda that was like. Do you see how fucking retarded this this sounds? That's why this bounty shit is probably bullshit, right? You know, uh, like, like they they're trying to take advantage of the stupidity of everybody and usually works, right? You know, if racism doesn't, you know, bait the fucking conservatives or Republicans, well, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe baiting them into thinking, oh, they're killing your American white troops and all that shit. No, well, it's really all American soldiers, but, you know, it's like, uh, you are just, like, I just hope nobody's falling for this retarded shit. Uh, uh yeah, so I don't really need to look up there. All right, so it looks like the only thing we're going to be looking at for this is this. Uh, Miner Hut eight said last week they raised eight point three million. A Toronto listed mining company says the play will keep it compared. A smaller oil well, could feel a pitch from last month's salary. Or probably close the first prospectus. Uh, blah blah blah. So uh, Hut eight finances. I never even heard of them. Um, blah, blah. So they trade in Canada, Canada. Uh, Ebron, Ebron, Ebron is also. Put out the minus per tab because because lower electricity rates in Alberta mean hot ache and weather blah blah blah. Yes, basically they get money for free. Oh, and that's it. All right, so this is their trade on the Canadian stock exchange. But uh, I don't even know what. All right, I was just gonna say today is a no news day as Trump slowly uh, Im uh, improves his uh, ele re-election fundamentals. Um, uh, you know what? 
Uh, well, let's see. Lots of pretty women here. Um, I think we'll just use this picture here, though, because this is obviously the more important part. This, this, this thing right here is actually way more important. So, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. So, short video, because literally nothing's happening today, and that's good, and I see Trump doing the right thing, but obviously he's short on time and he knows it, so... We'll see if he can close the gap. I mean, Trump, he needs at least 11% hitting Trump vote to, like, tie with Joe Biden, right? Plus 11 Trump, minus 11 Joe, so that pits at 50-50. Uh, that's, that's so much. 11% hitting Trump voter. I mean, I know there's a lot of fear and threats, but, I mean, 11% of, like, likely tr voters that could swing for Trump, ugh, that's... That's a lot. That is a tall order. Uh, he needs. To, he definitely needs to shrink that gap a lot. So he he needs to double time it. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Um, yeah, I mean, literally nothing's gonna happen. So, well, another day, uh, another grind. Uh, oh, but we are doing the. We're still on track to do JMC swap. So I'll do an official announcement like probably early July, but definitely after July fourth. So. All right. All right. See you all tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chen, JFC Coin, 404 Coin, and here's Kaylee McEnney.